time. Hey guys, I am here with Matt Holt. Matt, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Okay. You look good out there, man. Yeah. That was a really, really solid. Talk us through your day. How'd it go out there? Uh, you know what? Coming into this tournament, I kind of had some small injuries, and I'm just, you know, I'm in the in heat of like off season wrestling, so I'm not training too, I mean, maybe jujitsu, maybe five times a week. So I made the finals. I made the, well, I mean, compared to my teammates, that's, you know, those guys are strange. Yeah, I, know, I know what you're saying, but even, even me, I'm like, wait, hold on, one, two, yeah. three, four. Oh, wait, no, you're still training more than me, but yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. So uh, I, I knew who I was going to wrestle. He, if you, I don't know if you saw the match, the, the kid had one leg, uh, so I had to kind of come up with a game plan. And uh, I, I trained at Checkmat. We had a kid there actually that he has the same thing, one leg with like a stump, and I, I, he's a small guy, so I got to roll with him years. And figured out all the tricks, like how to you know sneaky back takes and how to take them down when they're like trying to paw at you. So I, I knew I was going to come out here and, and beat that guy, no problem. You know, it was a good day. Uh, tell us what about this? So what happens next? So you do uh, the trials here. I believe you go on. Where do you go? So the the world championships are in uh, Azerbaijan, and it's, do you know where that is? Yeah, I you know I was on the Greco team for a long time, so yeah. I've been to I've been to 35 countries wrestling. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't yeah. sure because a lot of people will fail that on a geography test. No, I could pass. It. I mean, I've been right over there, in Turkey last year. So Has wrestling made you more geographically inclined. Yes, for sure. I mean, because you go over there, you don't get internet, so you got to start flipping through these maps. You know, I'm not paying for internet service over in, you know, Hungary or Bulgaria or something. You got to go with the old like old school map. Absolutely. Man. So. Okay, so, okay, uh, you're going over there, that's happening when? That's in October. Okay, okay so until then, that's going to be great. You're going to be obviously training. What is the big mix? Because you do, you say you're doing wrestling. How often are you wrestling training? I, I train probably five times a week wrestling, and then five times a week jiu-jitsu. That's just why, because I'm a teacher now, so uh, luckily, like, I'm right in the middle between my club, Checkmat, and Arena MMA. That's where Barrett uh, Yoshida trains. So I'm dead center. I'm in Oceanside, so I can shoot up there. I can shoot down. I can go to 10th Planet whenever I want. I'm, like, I'm like perfect. If, I, if you're willing to drive, like, 30 minutes, I mean, I can get to everybody in That's SoCal. Really That's really good. What do you say is the biggest overlap, and what's the biggest difference between wrestling and jiu-jitsu for your experience? Uh, the overlap is... Well, I'll let you know right now, if I can beat IBJJF, I, I'm slamming my butt down on the mat as fast as I can. I, I've got part, I pull guard, I wrestled 25 years, I pull guard like that, because you can scramble, you can take down off your butt, you know, just like half guard to single, your scrambles, all of your, uh, you know, back takes, leg rides, or truck position, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same, so. I gotta ask because I know you seem to be a favorite for doing all different types of grappling, wrestling. Uh, what are your thoughts on sub only? Uh, you know what? I think it's a good idea, but I'll say this: I don't like I don't like when guys uh, don't get penalized for giving up up just such bad position, and and a lot of times they do it just to ride out the clock. Like I don't know if you saw the last couple EBIs, but they'll just you know if they're want to go to overtime, they have no problem pulling mount and just sitting there or just, you know, clinging on to like side control and holding where I think maybe you should add in some kind of like passivity warning where if a guy, you can tell he's just stalling out in a bad position, you know, maybe give the top guy the option to move or something. I don't, I don't like it. If you're doing sub only and then throwing in overtime, everybody's going to start, you know, seeing it, game the system and then go, go to overtime. Our best idea is usually if you affect the money, people tend to change a little bit more. Yeah. So I feel like you gotta game show it and kind of like take away money and be like, oh, oh, you just lost another $20. Yeah, but look at Joe Soto. He went in there, he didn't give a shit about the money. Yeah, I mean, he just, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna wait till overtime and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass from there. Absolutely, now I gotta ask this, would you compete in a sub only tournament? I've competed in lots of sub only tournaments. So, uh, yeah, I, I compete in them all the time. And do you enjoy them when you do that though, aside from that? I enjoy them because I don't give a crap about them really, it's, it's not, you know, it's not nothing that big to me. I, I prefer these styles. So when I go in there, I, I just do it to have fun and like, you know, try new stuff where I don't get burned if I'm trying something, you know, and it, it screws up. Absolutely. Well, we're excited for you. Congratulations. We're proud that you're going to be representing the USA. I think that's amazing. I know that's got to feel amazing. Yeah. Uh, now let's ask this. Uh, where do you train at? Do you want to give shout outs to your training partners and whatnot? Yeah, I train at uh, Checkmat up in Temecula with uh, Poncho at Dan Henderson's gym. and. And then probably a couple times a week at the arena, and 
I got sponsored by uh, Edge MMA and Fitness for this tournament, so uh, they've always been a, a big help to me too. Absolutely. Well, you know, if you're looking to sponsor this guy, because guess what? He's going to be going out. He's going to be traveling. So let's get behind this man. If you want to support the USA, you can support this gentleman right here. Matt, I want to thank you so much for thanks. your time. I want to say thanks to Verbal Tap, because on some of those drives when it's an hour and a half, I just download, I stick that on there, and man, my drive, like, it's like, I, oh, I'm already at the gym. Like, I didn't even, didn't even realize it. So you guys keep up the great work. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That was far too kind. The check's yeah. in the mail. Anyway, <laughs> keep it locked here at VerbalTapCast.com for more information, you guys.